Good morning everyone, although for you it's probably not the morning, but today I am going back home to see the Adams Family Musical. It is on its second to last week, I believe. It's currently at Milton Keynes Theatre. That's where I'm from originally, Milton Keynes. Not going to tell you exactly where because that's creepy. But yes, I'm going back home, I'm seeing my family and going to see Adam's family again. If you didn't know, I saw it in Canterbury, which is where my brother is at uni, and I'm just really excited, okay? And I'm wearing quite fancy stuff today. I have my Scream necklace on because you guys know how much I love Scream. And I got my new shoes, which I don't know if you can see them, but they're from Primark. They're slightly tight, but I'm working with it, okay? I'm working with it. But yes, my bed is currently a mess because I'm taking some of my bedding home to get it washed because I don't have a spare undersheet but I have spare duvets. I don't know if that makes sense but basically I'm gonna be like mum help me wash my stuff cheaper because here it's like five quid for a wash and I am not about that. But yes um I guess I've got to go. I have a suitcase and the lift at the tube station doesn't work which is gonna be fun so if I fall and break my neck I saw it coming. Before I go though, because I'm not gonna be here until tomorrow night, I'm just gonna, gonna, oh, that was my arm if you heard that click. I'm just gonna feed Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy, I gave you too much. Jeremy, please don't die. You are growing fabulously, my son. Look at that, look at Jeremy, okay? Look at him, look at him go. Look at him, he's having great fun here. I love you, Jeremy. Also, Pennywise, Annabelle. Scream, ghost face even, what am I saying? I don't know. Why did I bring so much stuff? Uh, this is really heavy, there are no lifts. This is gonna be interesting. Um, also, do you like how fancy I look for Adam's family? I'm ready. I need to do makeup when I get home. I look a bit different that's because I'm now home I'm currently at my nan and granddad's house and if you didn't know this is my dying hair top like I always wear it when I dye my hair so hi granddad hello darling yeah I just had the weirdest train journey home which I shall explain later but yeah nan's dyeing my hair um, thank you granddad for driving me home and making my journey less stressful but yeah E. Oh, look, I'm completely dark. Hey, look, it's Buster. Hi, Buster. It, Buster doesn't doesn't like being on the camera. Buster, do you, do you mind? <laughs> I love that Buster is so camera shy. He's like, no, don't film me. Okay. This is the dye that Nan put on my hair. It is the, if it wants to focus, the vanilla mochaccino. Oh, look at that. So yeah, hopefully it does something and at least makes my roots look set, not crazy. Got a number on it. Yep, I'll remember. 732, guys. Oh, it's not focusing again. Remember the number, guys. 732. If I ever want to dye my hair again this colour, 732. I currently look like an egg, uh, but when don't I look like an egg? Um, I'm just walking around my house like... What is this? What is everything? Where am I? I feel like I've been away for like a year, but also a few seconds and it's just blowing my mind and it's so weird and I swear to god I'm taller. This has to stay on for another 10 minutes and then I can go take it off and then hopefully I'll have some nicely dyed hair. Uh, yeah, I'm contemplating having a bath but I really don't think I have time. I'm just gonna have a shower. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a shower. My bath bomb from Disney will have to wait more time because um, I want to fully appreciate that bath bomb and uh, Mickey comes out of the bath bomb. He doesn't, that sounds weird. Anyway, yeah. One normal night, one normal night. I am so excited, I can't even, I'm ready. And I need to go and have this shower. Hola mi amigos, so this is my hair now. It's like a dark, browny, gingery color and I am living for it. I love it so much and it smells so good. Also, I did my makeup. I'm gonna take on my glasses so you can see it. I bought this new palette, which I'm pretty sure you'll have seen by now. If not, it'll be in a vlog coming soon when I go to London with Rianne. I go to London, she came to me. Anyway, I got this new palette and it is a revolution palette and I'm living for the colors. I 
love it so much it blends so nicely and also the colors work really well for bruises so uh, if I ever need to do some SFX makeup that's what I'm using also this lipstick is also by Revolution it was in their vamp collection thing and I realized that it is literally the lipstick that Carrie wears why am I apparently I'm not a face because I wear glasses that was a really good makeup session I know that there'll be people out there that like they do makeup and then they're like meh it'll do and then sometimes you're like yes I am a queen I feel like um, royalty right now because I'm really proud and my eyeliner is really nice today and I'm happy okay I now need to write a letter to Carrie because um I love her so much she's such an inspiration and uh, this is the closest I'm ever gonna get to giving her a letter so might as well I've also got chocolates for the cast because I love Adam's family so much and they all deserve everything so hopefully I can give that to them if not then I, I guess I'm gonna have some chocolates. Please ignore my hair for the moment. I look like Lord Farquaad, but I'm hoping that it dries and then gives it a bit of volume uh, when I put my fringe the right way. But what I wanted to say was my mum went to Costco in the week with my dad and I got a message, what do you want? So uh, I said, of course, uh, the thing that I love the most, flying saucers. Um, do we think that's enough flying saucers? Because that's a lot of flying saucers in a washing up bowl. I don't have a washing up bowl, I need one. But like, this is my heaven right here. These and orange juice are my life. One normal night, one normal night, one normal night, Wednesday once, one normal night, one normal night, one normal night. I'm really excited. I'm being pulled in a new direction. And this feeling I know, it's impossible, so I've been trying to die, but then I didn't know. It's disgustingly true! Pulled, pulled, pulled! Beat dogs with... The Disney World will go there twice! <laughs> I need help. I look like a businesswoman. Hello there, can I um, take your name and uh, the date please so I can find you on our system? Thank you. I'm an 18 year old. I need help. A father should support his son, and Lucas is your only one. Whoa, one normal night. Death is just around the corner. I don't know the rest of the words. What song can I actually sing? None. That's the answer. I can't sing. You know what I want to learn to sing? Bear with me, boo. <laughs> I'm never saying that again in my life. Uh, Disney, of course. So, the Charmings think their love is strong enough to defeat me. Well, there's one thing they don't know. It's revenge, 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 and it's gonna be mine. Now, honey, do you want to know what I can actually do? Bear with me. Geniuses, lower your voices. You keep out of trouble and you double your choices. I'm with you, but the situation is fraught. You've got to be carefully taught. If you talk, you're gonna get shot. I know the action in the street is exciting, but Jesus, between all the bleeding and fighting, I've been reading and writing. I need to handle a financial situation. Are we a nation of states? What's the state of our nation? I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing Every expectation, every action's an act of creation I'm laughing in the face of casualties of sorrow For the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow When I am not throwing away my shot We're going! Oh, I'm gonna drop this, okay I didn't actually explain what happened uh, train-wise to these people But it's a bit dark, should I do it now? Yeah, I should Basically, uh, trains were cancelled from Euston, so I had to go to St Pancras, and that took ages, and then I had to pay another five quid so I can get to Bedford, so then I could get to Milton Keynes, and I'm stressed and not at the same time. Cool. But going to St Pancras also felt like I was going to Euro Disney, so that is a positive you, thing. You, oh my god, my highlight! Look at that, Mum! You've got off at St Pancras. Stunning! Got... Guys, I'm here, I'm at MK Theatre. Anna's family poster is just there. I'm living. So I just gave the letter and the box of chocolates to front of house and they're going to pass it on to the production for me. And I'm very happy about that. So that is done. And now I'm waiting outside Casper's for everyone. No idea where they went, but they'll be here in a second and we're gonna have pancakes. If you didn't know, I actually saw Adam's family in Canterbury. There is a video on this channel somewhere when I went to see it in Canterbury. And it was so stunning that I wanted to see it again. And my grandparents really wanted to see it. So for some reason, my parents agreed to 
come again and I'm so excited because this is like my home theatre and I'm seeing Adam's family again and my letter actually might go to Carrie which just makes me so happy because she's such a pure and innocent person and exactly what I strive to be and the fact that people have told me that I remind them of her literally makes my day because she's just all I want to be I just want to be as nice as her and as pure as her and as like all round amazing she's got such a nice personality and I really hope that she doesn't mind my waffle that goes on in the letters but yes it is really cold where are the rest of my family I'm literally shivering looking like a weirdo just vlogging my face Casper's is just there I want a pancake Haynes family, where you at? We're in Casper's. I've ordered my usual of a strawberry and chocolate waffle. I'm very, very excited. Um, Mum is in front of the Casper's sign. Look, there it is. Also, fun fact, this is the exact seat that I sat in when I vlogged in Casper's before. Uh, it was me, Rianne, Izzy, and then Sarah, Luke, Amy, or Amy and Luke, I'm not sure, but this is the booth we sat in. This is the exact seat I sat in. We have like 45 minutes? Oh, I have a watch. About 45 minutes until 8 o'clock and then the show starts at 8.30. So, we're on time. Yeah? yeah? I don't know what's happening. I'm just kind of going with it and planning things and I, I am organiser. Hello. We're following you around. You've only been home half day. We're following you around. Yep. And I already had to stress about trains. <laughs> Look at her. She's stunning. She's stunning. Strawberries, chocolate, waffle. Here for it. Also ice cream, which I'm probably not going to eat because this is enough. Uh, Dad got a banoffee thing. Granddad got a banoffee thing. And these two got nothing because they're not hungry. <laughs> Love it. No, theirs are coming, which I, I won't show you because I want to eat this. We're and we only have time, about 45 minutes, half an hour. I don't know. Ah, we're going up. I just spent about 10 minutes in the line for merch because I wanted another t-shirt. I'm not in focus. I can't really fix it right now, so I'm very sorry for this current footage, but the show begins in like six minutes. Where are we going, Mum? This way. Okay. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm excited. I got a mug. I got a t-shirt. I'll show you it in a bit when I get home. <sighs> Probably gonna start crying throughout all of this. I cried last time and it was literally just like at the beginning sound and like now I know what happened and I know everything about the show and I'm just <laughs> I'm very excited. You excited mum? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Okay. Let's go into the theatre. Where are we again? Uh, Guys we're in. I'm ready. I'm so excited. These aren't as good seats as we got in Canterbury, but they're like good seats to see everything. That's the only thing about Milking Theatre, their seating feels really weird. You feel really far away. It does feel it bit. You kind of feel like separated from the action, but I mean, once you're immersed in what's going on, you're immersed. Yeah, last time we were literally like five rows back, but I'm so excited. We're leaving. It looks really pretty. Such nice lighting. Dad, do you mind? Are you done? You done? One tea? You done? Is that a gay hedgehog? Oh, thank you. What is this? It's a lip pencil. Oh, thanks. Um, why have you got a gay hedgehog? Because I knitted a gay hedgehog. Oh, what's his name? Or her name? I don't know. Or its name? Their name even? Hedge. Hedge. Okay. Hello guys, we're home and I wanted to show you what I got. Um, it was expensive, but like, when's Adam's family coming back again? <laughs> I've got to be careful I don't drop this. But I got this mug, and on the back it says for the sl I got this mug, and on the back it says full disclosure, and then on the front it says Adam's family, the musical comedy. I can't read, but full disclosure is a song and a part of the show, which is cool. And also, I got this top. I, I can't, mum, hold it. And I have this top, and it says don't analyse me. It's a deep, dark hole, and you don't want to go there. And that's me. Sarah would say I'm edgy. I'll take it now. I'm edgy. Let's go with it. <laughs> also, um, I have to be up in five hours for Comic Con. What time are you waking up, Mum? Um, I don't know. Five. We're leaving at six thirty. I have to become Wednesday Adams. Um, 
that's gonna be fun. But mommy's going as cat again, like usual, and this this is happening. Look at this. So if you want to see that, and are you going as Gru? If you want to see just that being that, um, th the vlog will be coming soon. Oh, hello. Do you wanna? Oh, look at that. It focuses on you, but not me. Are you gonna start singing really deep? Please don't make me jump because if you do, I'm gonna drop my camera and you'll have to pay £600. <laughs> Meanwhile. Yeah, there's washing here, but it's cheaper than doing four washes at £5 a go. <laughs> Dad, what happened? What happened? What did you do? You tweeted. Oh, I um, tweeted that we were watching the show and I hope they enjoyed the chocolates that you sent them. And then they kind of responded to your tweets and you'll be able to say who responded. Yeah, it's Lurch. Lurch responded and also the, the, the Twitter account. Hello, Mum. Granddad couldn't hear it. <laughs> yeah, Granddad couldn't hear it. Um, yay. Also, because someone spent a lot of money in Pandora, still don't know why you spent so much money, um, they got a free Disney bag thing and they're letting me have it. And look at it. Look at it. It's so pretty I can't get it out of the box look at it it's like it's like a clutch and it, it's really soft and it's got Mickey on it and I'm living and I love it and I love Pandora and um, I found out there's a stitch Pandora charm and I want it in my life oh so it's got a thick that, that wasn't words <laughs> oh so it's got a thick also this t-shirt has um, Adam's family the comedy musical the musical comedy even I can't read <laughs> I want to eat these Get a movie! That does it for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the mess that was today and my little journey across London because Euston wasn't working, like, at all. The entire station was on lockdown. But um, Adam's family was amazing, as usual, because it's Adam's family and it's stunning. And also, I was able to meet the ringmaster and get a picture with him. I'll insert now. Um, they were collecting money outside, so I went up and I was like, here's some money, can I get a picture? And he was like, yeah. So. That was cool. Um, yes, I need to go to bed. I would recommend going and seeing Adam's family, but it's literally got a week left, and by the time this comes out, it will probably have finished. So I can't recommend it because it's probably not happening anymore, but it was amazing, and everyone in it was phenomenal, wasn't it, Mum? Yeah, she's nodding. Also, Les Dennis wasn't able to make this show. We don't know why, but anyway, he wasn't there. So, the incredible Scott Page was the understudy role of Fester, and he was literally amazing. And I just, I'm biased because I know Scott more than I know Les Dennis, if that makes sense, because of Carrie's videos and him being on social media. So I think I'm biased in saying that I preferred Scott's performance to Les Dennis's, but Hey, hey, that's just my opinion. Hello, Mum. Also, I really liked that we saw it in Canterbury when it, like, was about a month old, maybe? I'm not sure. And now we're seeing it on its, like, last tour date but one. So, we've been able to see, like, the difference. And, like, now it just feels so much more like they're all friends and they all know each other. And, like, they're like, yeah, let's just have fun making this. Instead of it being like, this is just a musical, we need to do this because it's our job. So, it just felt more together and, like, they were all friends. And... It was so good and now I'm really sad because I'm probably never gonna see it again. If it comes back I'll be seeing it. Now I'm going to do my outro. Oh, hello. Why are you lo not lodding at me? Why are you lodding at me? <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed today's video then please do not forget to subscribe just here and also go and click on my previous video just here. But until next time, bye!